Animated backgrounds are really good to enhance the look of your motion graphics projects. Nowadays it's looks boring when we use a static background in our projects. In this tutorial, I will show you two types of animated background using some simple steps. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings. Give it a name. Also change the frame rate to 29.97, and make the duration 6 seconds. You can use any settings you want, it won't affect the design. Let's create another composition, give it a different name. But this time, make the dimension, 1000 times 1000 pixels, I mean a square. Keeps the rest of the settings same. Turn on title action safe grid. Now draw a simple line like this, using pen tool. Increase the stoke value a little bit. Now click on this add button and select zigzag. Then open zigzag, increase the size a little bit, and change the point smooth. Open stroke 1, and change the line cap to round cap. Now click on this add button, and select trim paths. Set the start and end value something like this. Now add a keyframe on offset, then go forward to 2 seconds and increase the offset value by 1. Here we need to keep this animation in loop. For doing this, click on the stopwatch icon by holding Alt key. Then type in loop out. Nice. We are done with this part here. Now go to the main com, and bring this into the timeline. Press R to open rotation, and change the rotation value to minus 45. Then adjust the size, and try to place it in the center. You can change the stroke settings anytime from here. Alright, now go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Reptile. Apply it on the layer. Now increase this values to a high value. Let's make it 7000 for all. Now you can just scale it according to your need. By changing the tiling property, you can get different types of results. You can create a solid for background. Also you can change the color and shape anytime from here. Alright, let's create another type of background. First create a composition, give it a name you like. And keep the other settings same like the previous one. Now make another composition. And name it shape. And leave the all settings same. Now double click on the ellipse tool to make a perfect ellipse at the center. Reduce the scale a little bit. And increase the stroke width. Now click on this add button, and select zigzag. Open zigzag. 
make the size 30 and segment 0 by doing this you will get a shape like this now click on this add button and select repeater open repeater 1 and make the copies value 190 then open position and make the x-axis value 0 also reduce the scale value Now if we change the offset value, then we can see the changes, like this. On the first frame, add a keyframe on offset. Then go to the end of timeline, and change the offset value something like this. Just make sure, on both keyframe, that shape should look like this. Now if we hit spacebar, we can see the seamless background animation. If you want to slow down the animation, just try to reduce the difference of the offset values. Just like this. Great, now go back to the main comp, and bring this on the timeline. Create a solid layer for background. Go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp apply this on the background layer change the color you like You can change the track mat to the alpha mat from here for a different look. Or you can change this blend mode to overlay. I think if we change this stroke color to white, it will look much better. Nice. That looks great to me. You can pre-compose these layers, and use it for different styles. Like this. I just show you the way, but destination is yours. Let's wrap it up for today. If you guys want more animated background tutorial, let me know in the comments. Till then, keep learning, and as I say, always try to think outside the box. Peace out.